Welcome to Align Christ-Centered Yoga. My name is Linda and I'll be guiding our practice today. Our practice today is a memory verse flow. We are connecting breath and movement with scripture, writing the word of God on our hearts. Today's scripture verse comes from Paul's letter to the Roman church. And he says this, through Christ Jesus, the law of the spirit who gives life has set us free from the law of sin and death. I was at a conference this weekend and the speaker pointed out that the freedom that God gives us is not a freedom from boundaries, but it is a freedom from the consequences of sin. We have been set free. Through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. I invite you to close your eyes as you find a comfortable seated position and Notice the way the sitting bones have set into the blanket, the block, or the mat. And from there, begin to stack the spine, finding the neutral curves of the spine, a little distance between each of the vertebra, the top of the head rising towards the sky. Begin to find your breath, eyes closed if you're comfortable with that. Noticing the breath as it comes in and out of the nose, as you inhale down the body and exhale up the body. You have been set free. Can you find the release that comes with freedom? Take three more breaths here. Just noticing the way the body is responding to breath. Noticing any places you may feel a little tight or uncomfortable today. Giving yourself permission to modify this practice to meet the needs of your body in this moment in time. The next inhale, bring the arms up and overhead and exhale as they come down to the mat and begin to connect breath and movement. Inhaling as the arms rise, exhaling as the arms come down. Add the movement of the head, the gaze rising with the arms, the head bowing as the arms descend. And add the scripture verse. Through Christ, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. One more breath here. Go ahead and come off the blocks. Bring any props that you have towards the front of the mat and meet me in table. So settle into table, finding the strength in the abdominals and the back, smacking through the tops of the feet, press into the tops of the feet, and imagine that there's a wrinkle of the mat right underneath you, and the hands are smoothing the wrinkle out towards the front of the mat. Your feet are drawing that wrinkle out towards the back of the mat. From here, find cat and cow warming up the muscles of the back. Exhaling into cat, inhaling into cow. Find your pace, matching your breath. And add the scripture verse. Through Christ, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. One more time, cat and cow. Me back at center, and I invite you to rise up into a kneeling mountain, arms reaching towards the sky, stacking shoulders over hips, contracting through the abdominals, finding that support from the pelvis all the way up to the collarbone. And exhale into child's pose and draw those hips back to wherever they go as the hands come forward and the head bows. 
come into a kneeling plank as the hands move forward and engage through the abdominals again as you draw down to the mat, elbows towards the sky. And come in and out of Sphinx pose a few times here, inhaling up into Sphinx, exhaling out. Add the scripture verse. Through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Rise into Sphinx and stay here for a breath or two as you begin to engage the muscles of the middle back, perhaps drawing the hips forward and up a little bit, maybe again pressing through the tops of the feet and the forearm. Exhale down, hands to rib cage, hips to heels. Rise up into Kneeling Mountain. And find your flow coming into child. Kneeling plank to the mat. and sphinx to child. And one more time, adding that scripture verse in, rising up into kneeling mountain, through Christ Jesus, the law of the God of the Spirit who gives life, coming back into child, has set you free from the law of sin and death. Coming forward into that kneeling plank through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life, coming down to the mat and into Sphinx, has set you free from the law of sin and death. And draw back to child. And stay in child for three breaths. Maybe take the knees out a little bit wider or bring them in a little closer together and find freedom in the pose. That next inhale, meet me in table, and this time curl the toes underneath and draw the knees up into the rib cage, and hips reach behind you and up. And begin to feel the downward facing dog and shake your head out no and yes. How strong do those legs feel today? Where is this comfortable? Where is it uncomfortable? Begin to pedal through your feet and move your hips and explore the pose. On the next inhale, let the heels rise. And on the next exhale, let the heels come down towards the mat. And find your downward facing dog, making any adjustments that you need to make. On the next inhale, raise the right leg up to the sky and draw the gaze forward and bring the foot all the way through the hands and let that back knee tap down and up. Warming up through the psoas, the front of the hip. And let the knee tap down to the mat. Taking a deep breath in, tops of the feet to the mat, rise up with the arms. And exhale, hands to heart, just leaning forward a little bit and then sweep those arms all the way up and forward. And this time, open the arms up into cactus and open up the heart. And inhale as the arms rise and exhale as the arms come down and go ahead and bring those blocks to either side of that front foot and begin to straighten and bend the front leg, finding a hamstring stretch and connect breath and movement. And connect the scripture verse. Through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. 
Next time you come back into that hamstring stretch, I invite you to stay there and, you know, again, just explore the stretch, maybe flex and point the foot. And what feels right and settle into that place. And notice as that back hip starting to swing out to the side and maybe bringing that back hip more towards the center and squaring that. Hips pointing towards the front of the mat. And gently bend that front leg and raise that back leg up. Go ahead and move any props that you have off the mat again. Front foot comes to the back, meet me in plank. And as you come down to the mat, maybe you're still in kneeling plank, maybe you're in chaturanga. Say the scripture verse, through Christ Jesus, find your back bend. The law of the spirit who gives life has set you free. Free, come back through child from the law of sin and death. And that next inhale, rise into table and breathe out as you find your downward dog. Breathing in, the right leg rises high. The left leg rises high. Draw the gaze forward and bring that left leg through. So this is the opposite leg that you used last time. Back of the knee taps down and up. So back and forth here a few more times, noticing how the psoas feels, that muscle in the front of the hip. And as you're ready, let that back knee come down and press through the top of the foot and sweep the arms up as the shoulders stack over the hip. And hands to heart and just hinge forward at the hip and lean there and find the strength in the core and then sweep those arms up and overhead and come into cactus arms and find your back bend. And how does the back feel? And inhaling, bring the arms up and then to either side of that foot. Again, maybe using props. To begin to find the hamstring stretch, straightening and bending that front leg. Just straightening out to that place where you feel a little tension, but no shaking or pain. Two more breaths here. Settle into your hamstring stretch. It doesn't matter how much that knee is bent. And begin to flex and point your foot. And then decide, where does the stretch feel right for you here? And again, look back. Maybe that back hip comes a little more towards center. Can you say the scripture verse? Through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Bring that front foot forward, the front knee over the ankle. Go ahead and move the blocks and raise that back leg up. Bring the back foot to the front now, finding your first forward fold. Maybe holding onto the elbows as the back of the head comes down towards the mat. Take one more breath here. And then hands to shins, rise up halfway, and exhaling, come down. Bring the arms all the way up and find your mountain pose, palms together, hands to heart. And then take those palms down and sweep them forward and all the way up and come into cactus arms as you find your back bend. Inhaling, palms together, exhaling, hands to heart, bowing forward. Through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life, rising up halfway, has set you free, forward fold, from the law of sin and death. Front foot comes to the back, meet me in plank. And from plank, however you choose to do it, come down to the mat and find a back bend. Draw through child. Meeting me in downward facing dog. Take 
two breaths and check in, noticing how the pose feels. Adjusting anywhere that you would like to. The next inhale, the right leg rises high. And gaze forward, the foot comes all the way through, the hands sweep all the way up, finding your lunge, hands at heart. And stay balanced in that lunge as those hands come down and all the way up and into cactus and find your back bend. And then inhaling, bring hands back to heart. Right hand to the small of the back, left arm comes across that front leg, find a gentle twist. And from twist, bring the hands down to either side of the foot. Bring the front foot to the back, meet me in plank. And from plank, find your way back down to the mat, into your back bend, through child, and into downward facing dog. Through child, through Christ Jesus, the law of the spirit who gives life. Meet me in downward facing dog has set you free from the law of sin and death. On the next inhale, the left leg rises high. And gaze forward as the foot comes all the way through and sweep the arms all the way up and find balance and hands to heart. And then take those hands down to the center and come all the way up and come into the cactus arms as you open up across the chest. And inhale as the arms rise. And exhale and bring the hands down to either side of the foot. And this time the back foot comes up to the front and meet me in forward fold. And this time we'll find chair pose so the hands are in the front. And go ahead and lift the heels and drop the hips. And then bring your hands back to your little toes and press your feet flat to the mat. And sinking the hips, rise up into chair pose. And settle in chair for our breath. And then hands to heart, stay here. And let the hands come all the way down and rise up in the mountain through Christ Jesus. The law of the spirit who gives life has set you free. Open up the arms and find your back bend from the law of sin and death. Inhale as the arms rise, exhale forward fold. Hands to shins, come up halfway, exhaling, come down. Go ahead and leave the left leg where it is. Take the right leg back and pivot towards the right edge of your mat. And toes face forward and bring the hands forward and gently let the chest draw down and begin to find a downward facing dog back here as the legs are wide. And adjust for you. And then from here, keeping that right hand at the center, bring that left arm across the leg and find a gentle twist. And go the other direction. And pivot towards the front of the mat and float the back foot to the front. And come down to the mat. Find your back bend. And maybe come through child or maybe go directly into downward facing dog. And settle in downward facing dog for a few breaths. And we're going to put all this together. But just for a moment, check in and notice how it feels. And say the scripture verse. Through Christ Jesus, the law of the spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. We're going to start with our left leg forward. So left leg rises high, heel to hip, knee to sky. Open up the front of the body. And raise the leg up as it comes all the way forward in between the hands. Rise into your lunge. 
And from your lunge, hands to heart. Bring those hands down and open all the way up as you open up into cactus arms. Bring the palms together, hands to heart. Hinge forward at the hips and find your twist. Stay here for a breath. And then exhaling, bring the hands down and gently straighten out that front leg into your hamstring stretch. And bend the knee and pivot towards the wide edge of the mat. And find your downward facing dog back. And then bringing the right hand towards the center, bring the left arm across that leg, find your twist. And go the other direction. And this time pivot towards the back edge of your mat. And bring the back leg up to meet the front. Hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhaling, come down, lift the heels as the hands come forward and the hips drop. Press the feet down as you rise into chair pose. And from chair pose, rise into mountain, hands together and hands to heart. Bringing the hands down, let them rise all the way up through Christ Jesus the law of the spirit who gives life, opening up into your back bend. Arms rise up, has set you free, forward fold, from the law of sin and death. And hands rise, the back rises up halfway, exhale down, Bring your legs back behind you, find your plank, and from your plank find your flow. Maybe you're still in kneeling plank and coming into sphinx. Hands to rib cage, draw back into downward facing dog. And this time it's the left leg that rises high. Uh, nope. It's the right leg that rises high and comes through the hands, rise into your lunge. And settle into your lunge and hands to heart. And bring the hands down and then up again. Find the scripture verse through Christ Jesus. Open up cactus arms as you open into your back bend. The law of the spirit who gives life, arms rise, has set you free. Find your twist from the law of sin and death. Take one more breath here. Exhaling hands to either side of that foot. Find your hamstring stretch beginning to straighten out that front leg. Finding the stretch that's right for you. And then pivot towards the wide edge of the mat, toes facing forward, find your wide leg downward dog. And this time press into the left hand as that right hand reaches over. And find the twist on the other side. And as you're ready, come all the way over to the front side of the mat, pivoting towards the front side of the mat. The back foot floats to the front. Find your forward fold. And hands to shins, rise up halfway and exhale down and bring those hands forward as the heels rise, if that works for you. And come into chair pose from here as the feet press into the mat and the hips sink and the arms rise. And exhale, hands to heart. And final time, rising into mountain, saying the scripture verse as we go. The hands come down through Christ Jesus. They rise up 
the law of the spirit who gives life. Open up those arms, find your back bend, has set you free. And arms come up, forward fold from the law of sin and death. Hands rise up halfway, find a nice long back, exhale down one leg back and then the other, meet me in plank. And this time, come down to your knees and child to table twice. And as you're ready, find child's pose and stay there. And adjust it. Maybe the legs come a little wider or go narrower. Hands in front of you or behind, supporting the head up on a block or on the mat, finding breath. What does your body feel like when you are experiencing complete freedom? How do the boundaries that God sets provide that freedom? Gently press into your hands and rise up. Bring your legs in front of you, feet wide, and gently draw the knees down side to side. Release any remaining tension in your back. Massage out the glutes. And as you're ready, bring the feet forward and lie down onto your back. Let the knees come up to the ceiling, the heels off the floor, and Knees together, hands lightly on the knees, gently circle around the back. And find that sacrum bone that connects hip to spine. Go the other direction, you're just massaging all around that bone. As you are ready, Draw the knees into the rib cage and away, back and forth here a few times. And let the knees come, the feet come down to the mat and extend the legs long. Maybe you take the hands up to the sky and reach as high as you can and let those shoulders thump down to the mat. And one more time here. And let the hands softly come down to your hips. And find Shavasana. You have been set free. I invite you to stay here a little longer if you can. If you need to move on with your day, begin to bring movement back to fingers and toes. 
rotating wrists and ankles, turning your head side to side. And on that next inhale, bring arms up and overhead and stretch long fingers to one wall, toes to the other. And then bending your knees, roll over onto your side, supporting your head with your arm. And find breath. And on that next inhale, press into your hands and rise up to sitting and find your sitting bones. And stack shoulders over hips and check in again, body, mind, and soul. What has changed since you started your practice today? What has stayed the same? Accepting it as it is. As you breathe in, draw arms up and overhead, palms together, and exhale, hands to heart. Father, we thank you so much for your guidelines, your guardrails, the boundaries that you set. And Father, we thank you that through Jesus we have been set free from all of the consequences of sin, the separation from you, the division from others, death itself. So Holy Spirit, convict us and guide us and give us the courage to walk forward boldly within the boundaries that we have been given. It is in the name of Jesus the Christ that we pray. Amen. Thank you for practicing with me today. <laughs>